All right, guys, it's me, Johnny Oliver, Jamie Oliver's cousin, and to celebrate the brand new series of the Great British Bake Off, this is my jerky banana and coconut loaf. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with the plantain as we did last time, and we're looking to unlock some of that really fruity jerky flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it like this and just gently bat it side to side like that, just to draw out some of the moisture. What we can also do is grab the tip like this and just gently fling it back and forwards. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna move the moisture of the plantain all the way from the bottom to the top. Now, for the loaf itself, I prefer to use Hovis, just to bring out that signature spicy jerky flavor. And the great thing about Hovis is it's only 51 calories per slice, so it's not gonna hurt too much if you're making this for a fatty bum bum. Okay, up next comes the most important bit, the coconut buttercream filling. Now you're not gonna find this in the food art, but if you just pop over into the healthcare section, you're gonna find this lovely jerky cocoa butter, which just gives this real thick oozing jerky texture. And it gives your hands this beautiful jerky softness as well. Now, what can we do to add even more coconutty jerks to the equation? Well, if we use a real coconut, we're actually gonna lose some of that natural flavor. So instead, we're gonna use a bounty. So we plucked it out, and now all we're gonna do is grate it over the top of our coconut loaf. Brilliant, now all we need is a spicy jerky garnish, and to do that, we're gonna use reggae reggae sauce. There he is, my brother Bob Marley. No woman, no cry. Should be no coconut loaf, no cry. And now all we're gonna do is make a lovely jerky skid mark across the plate. And there we have it, my signature jerky banana and coconut loaf. Mm. Sweet, simple, and most importantly, jerky. For now, I've been Johnny Oliver. See ya.